Okay, next stage. How do we get the data off the logger? Well, first obvious one is to turn around and hit the function key here and scroll up to where we can see copy logged data and go tick. And that will just simply copy it off to the memory stick. Now, if you remember, this is the memory stick that we supply. Um, if you use a, a larger memory stick, you may need to leave one place, you know, it might take 15 minutes for it to identify that the memory stick's there. So that's copy the data off. And if we have a look on the PC, I'm going to plug this into my PC. And uh, it's plugged in. And we'll just bring up our, there it is there. Uh, drive. Uh, serial number of the loggers, jobs, config, and there it is there. That's a comma separated file which I can I could open with um, Notepad, but um, normally you would use Excel. Um, I don't have to have Excel on this PC, and there it is, comma separated file. That'll go straight into Excel, and uh, you can edit it from there. It's option one. Option two is uh, Data Explorer here. Um, you can load the schedule tree, it just loads whatever it is. Um, and you can pick what to download from and till to. So, you know, do we just simply download as a CSV? Thank you. And there it comes back as a CSV. And so we can save that there. So there's two ways to download. Very easy to use. Now, the uh, other thing that I'd like to point out about downloading is that you need to be careful um, when you've got this schedule here. Um, sorry, I clicked on there, I didn't mean to. Um, this shed, I'll click on not on a plus key. See in advanced here, you may need to set more storage. The default storage on the logger is one megabyte. So you can easily set that to 10. Save. Now I'm also gonna set, I might, uh, in this instance, I might set the, um, now if you notice supply to logger has now popped up. I might set a faster scanning rate for something later. There we go, and I'll apply that to logger. You can again warning me, it's because it's wiping all the data off the logger. So the logger's happily running, we can start the logger, we can stop the logger from the front panel, we can download to a memory stick, we can connect to it via a PC and download. Because it's Ethernet, you could have it in a remote part of the um, plant so long as it's on the same network as your PC. All very simple. Thank you very much.